2013. I read the newspaper headline, not even online, it was an actual newspaper, call for volunteers for one-way trip to Mars. And uh, I hadn't even finished reading that sentence when I knew that this was, a, this was my opportunity, this was my destiny. I am prepared to give up my life on Earth for the unprecedented contribution I would be able to make to the sum of human knowledge from a new world. On the first day of school, my mom told me, um, don't let the teacher tell you you can't do anything that the boys can't do because you're a girl. And I thought that was a very odd thing to say at age five or whatever when I went to school for the first time. And on the first day of school, the teacher said, can all the strong boys please come and help move the desks? And I thought, she's right. And I stood up and moved those desks, and that's kind of the attitude I've had. Um, I'm Head of Innovation at SAP Africa, so that's thinking about new emerging technologies and how they can be applied to solve unique problems for the African continent in particular and beyond. Um, I don't allow anybody's gender discrimination or anybody's discrimination to really permeate through what is, has to be a thick skin in the end. Um, just do your best, be who you are, work with people who respect you for what you are. Um, so yes, my mentors have largely been men working in physics, but these have been men who haven't treated me as a woman in science, they've treated me as a scientist. Mars One originally planned to go in 2022. That's clearly not happening. Um, Mars One is not a technology company, so whatever date they, they announce is to, to be taken with a pinch of salt because the technology builders are, are obviously going to be responsible for the timeline. So in that case, we look to South African-born Elon Musk's company SpaceX, which is the only company currently building and endeavouring to, to build transport to get to Mars to make humans a multi-planetary species. So our faith and hope and uh, um, belief is with SpaceX that in 2022, which is their proposed date, they will launch the um, architecture to Mars to become the first private company to land cargo on Mars. And if this is successful, then before 2030 is really not an unreasonable time frame to get the first crew on board. We are planning a 2020 overwintering expedition to Antarctica in 2020. Um, when I say we, it's myself as the director of the Foundation for Space Development in South Africa. Um, we want to go with the South African boat down to Antarctica, hopefully to the South African base, and stay there for the, what would be the first training period that I've been involved in, where we will do an off-world simulation experiment, uh, where we'll run science projects, test technology, but importantly also investigate how the people interact with each other in a truly isolated, confined and extreme environment that as South Africans we have access to. So why not? Um, why wait? And I think when, you, when you're pursuing a dream in life, uh, there's no time to waste waiting for others to, to get on board. Um, at some point you have to drive your own dream, uh, believe in it all the way, because how can you expect others to if you don't? No, it's not about leaving anything behind. It's, it's about embracing where we've come, how far we've come, but also looking to the future and saying we don't have a future if we carry on doing things the way we're doing. Uh, the young people are always asking with respect to what are you going to do when you get there and are you going to go further than Mars and like whereas adults are like how are you going to leave Earth so I know to, to become an adult means you're living in the world which means you have to you know make your dreams more realistic at some point but I wish people could open their minds like a 10 year old and say okay you're on Mars how are you going to do this how are you going to do that that's the attitude we need um, not you know how are you going to leave everything behind because um, leaving things behind is what we do as people all the time yes going to Mars is further than anyone's ever gone before, but people move to new places and say goodbye to loved ones on a daily basis. Um, and we're all going to die someday, so I think the important thing is how you live your life and not fear about you know what kind of situations you may find yourself in. And, um, so we need to embrace ideas that are bigger than ourselves, not be afraid, uh, and think about benefiting as many people as possible during our lifetimes that we can. Um, that, that would be the goal. I think improving the average quality of life for as many humans around us as possible in the short time that we have.